What is happening guys, Alexander the Great Volkanovski here, your UFC featherweight champ. And guess what, first episode of Cooking with Volk, I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some lamb souvlaki and uh, obviously some steak, everyone knows I love my steak. So, let's get stuck into it. All right, so first, uh, the lamb Slovakia. Uh, I've got my capsicum, tomatoes, and onions. I'm gonna cut them up. And uh, the butcher, uh, superior meats there at Shola Harbor, done me a solid and already cut them up perfectly for me. So uh, we're gonna prepare the Slovakia. So let's get stuck into that. Uh, pretty easy. I'll show you how I usually do them, how I cut them up. Uh, again, with the with these, if you want sizes, because again, the, the pieces of uh, savlaki that I got, the lamb is about, you know, probably a piece like that. So you want them pretty close to that, you know what I mean? And you can sort of have it however you want, chop them up, it's all good. You don't need to be perfect with it. Have a bit of fun with it. That's the capsicum, or for my American fans, what is it, the red peppers? That's how we say it, red pepper? There we go. Onions. Nice and easy, carve them up. Again, I want them a decent size, so I reckon if you, this is a pretty small onion, but I reckon I still, if I cut it like that, we're still gonna get half decent sizes, so I'm happy, I'm happy with them sizes even. Yep, so we'll go with them. There's a few pieces there. Uh, as you get small, as you get to the smaller side, we can obviously put two, keep the two there. And the tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, I'm just gonna cut them in half. You can go four ones if you want, but I just feel like uh, half is probably the perfect amount, so I usually go half. That's the tomatoes, onions, and uh, capsicum done. Now, the lamb. Here it is. So again, uh, what you want, again, I've told you before the size, that's about the size you want. And yeah, we're gonna put them on sidewards like that. And then we'll go the onion. Doesn't have to be an exact order, but I'm gonna keep it the same. So now I've got the onion, capsicum, then tomato. I'm gonna to do that every time now. All right, let's get the mama's uh, marinade on this. Now it's pretty easy, man. It's only a few, uh, a few ingredients. So it's nice and easy. Salt, lemon pepper, and oregano. That's all you need. It's, uh, and obviously the oil. So we're gonna sprinkle that on. You can do Old Salt Bay however you wanna do it, it doesn't matter. There'll be a few uh, Salt Bay, uh, few, few, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing Salt Bay a fair bit, I reckon. You can't not, you know what I mean? When there's fucking meat, you gotta do the Salt Bay. You'll be rude not to. So a little bit of salt, you don't need too much because lemon, pe le lemon pepper is, um, got the, the salty sort of flavor as well. But it's got that tang, that's what I love about it, it's got that tang. All right, guys, that's the lamb souvlaki done. Now, let's get on to the steak. The steaks, what we've got is uh, eye fillet, wagyu eye fillet. So uh, the, I, I was lucky enough to get the butcher to sort me out with uh, some good steaks. And yeah, he got them. We got them about an inch thick. I'm gonna chuck them on here, and we're gonna season them. So the seasoning, very easy. Olive oil, salt, and pepper. Um, and you won't be shy with the salt and pepper either. That's something that, well, that's how I like it anyway. Again, when you chuck it on the on the barbie, it tends to a lot of the flavour will fall off anyway. So it might look it might look crazy while I'm putting the salt on, but trust me, it tastes good. All right, let's do it. So olive oil again from this stupid little bowl that I uh, thought I'd look fancy with. Not practical, but I oh will. Fuck it. All right, now for the season, all you need salt and pepper. Don't be shy. Again, we want that flavor on there. So you're just gonna get that flavor on there. Salt, that's all you need, mate. Salt and pepper for a good steak. That's all you need. Shy. Cake it on. Again, when you cook it, a lot of this and carve it, start carving it up, a lot of this will fall off anyway, but the flavor will uh, definitely mix through a bit. Oh yeah, beautiful. 
Now, set them off to the side. So that's the lamps of Luckier and the steaks seasoned, ready for the barbecue, the fun stuff. Let's hear that sizzle, let's get them on there. Now we've got them off, we cooked them uh, for probably a minute and a half, maybe uh, both sides, you know, about that, but again, I want to let it rest. So I'm going to make sure that's there, on there to keep nice and warm and let it uh, rest as, at the same time. So let's get these uh, lamps of luckies on. We got them off the barbie, now the fun stuff, we get to taste it. How good is that? Uh, again, I had them resting, so that's why I covered it with this to keep them warm. And let's have a look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, do you smell that? Do you smell that? All right, excuse the noise. Now, all we need to do, a bit of lemon, finish it off with a bit of lemon on the lamps of Luckier. Oh, squirt that, who cares about the mess today? Let's go, all right, we are good. Leave that there. Now we don't need lemon for the steaks. I'm gonna carve this up. Now I'm gonna try and go against the grain. That's what we wanna do. Uh, let's see how we go. All right. Oh man, look at that. Oh, can you see? There we go, just how we wanted it, nice and rare. Well rested, room temperature. You gotta remember when you're cooking your steak, please get it to room temperature. I can't stress enough, room temperature. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest, Master Splinter, Joe Lopez. Head coach, Joe Lopez in the building to come try it out. I need someone to help me eat this. Looks good. It does look good. How do you like your steak, Joe? I know he likes it rare. No, Here we go. Here we go. Mate, I am very happy with that. Uh, this is exactly how me and Joe like to eat it. So we made it like that. Again, if you want it medium, you can cook it a little bit longer. But make sure it's room temperature. Make sure it is rested. Um, let's have a little taste. Oh, you weren't even going to wait for me. That'll be right. Mm. Let's go. That's beautiful. Let's get I'm some of that. Oh, look at that. I reckon I can bite that with my lip. Look at that. Mm. Don't forget the lamps of Lucky, Joe. Mm. Already put a bit of a. Uh... Man, I want to keep eating that. I'm going to try and get me off the steak. Right, let's eat a bit of this first. We can't have the listeners and the people watching just watch us eat the whole time. So let's have a taste of this, show them how that is. How's that? Nice and medium as well. Mm. Oh, medium, medium rare. Look at that. That is how you want it. All right. Well, that is it. Sorry, I'm getting juices flying everywhere. That is it, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, hit that bell so you get all the notifications. We're going to keep eating. Thank you. Thank you. Good stuff.